Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 8.1 xylem and phloem. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 8.1 you need to state the functions of xylem and phloem, identify the position of xylem and phloem in diagrams and images, and for extended relate the structure of xylem vessels to their function. So photosynthetic plants take up water and minerals from the soil and produce sugars and amino acids in the leaves. These products are then delivered to the parts of the plant that don't photosynthesize, like the fruits, buds and roots. Now all of this relies on the movement of substances from one part of the plant to another, and this takes place in xylem and phloem vessels. So xylem vessels are responsible for transporting water and mineral ions, primarily from the roots to the stem and leaves. Their walls are very strong, so they also provide some support for the plant. Phloem vessels, known as sieve tubes, transport dissolved substances like sucrose and amino acids from the leaves to the rest of the plant. The cells of the phloem have perforations in their end walls that allow substances to pass from cell to cell. Now xylem and phloem are grouped together in vascular bundles, but these bundles are arranged differently in the roots, stem and leaves. You need to be able to identify their position in each part of the plant. So in roots, the vascular bundle is located at the centre. The middle part consists of the xylem vessels, and the cells surrounding it are the sieve tubes of the phloem. Roots don't have a conventional epidermis, but do have root hairs for water uptake, which we'll cover in the next lesson. In the stem, several vascular bundles form a ring-like structure. The space between the bundles and the epidermis is called the cortex, and the central tissue of the stem is called pith. The phloem is always located on the outside of the bundles and the xylem on the inside. In leaves, vascular bundles are present in the midrib as well as the leaf veins. The xylem is found at the top, towards the upper surface of the leaf, and the phloem is always at the bottom. Xylem vessels bring water and minerals to the leaf cells, while the sieve tubes carry away the sugars and amino acids produced by them. The presence of xylem in the veins also gives the leaf structure and helps to support the softer tissues of the leaf blade. Okay, so that's everything you need to know for core, but for extended you also need to relate the structure of xylem vessels to their function. So a xylem vessel is comprised of a series of long hollow cells that have no cytoplasm or organelles. They also have no end walls and thus form a continuous tube through which water and mineral ions are transported. Their walls are thickened with a substance called lignin which makes the vessel strong and impermeable. Xylem also contains many long lignified cells called fibres which provide additional support for the plant. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 8.1, xylem and phloem. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 8.2, water uptake.